What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to delay OTA from 16.1.2 to 16.5. If you wanna do this though, you have to act fast. This is only possible until September 19th. After that, this won't work. If you're on iOS 16 already, then why would you wanna do this? Well, on 16.5, there will be a jailbreak eventually. So if you wanna get on the latest possible version that has a jailbreak, now's the time to do it. But that's definitely not saying you have to though. Next, we wanna sideload the app on our phone via Alt Store, and here's how to set Alt Store up. Obviously, you wanna go ahead and download Alt Server for your computer, and then once it's installed, go ahead and open it up. And if you're on Mac, open the Mail app and enable the Alt Server plugin. You can plug your phone into your computer. Also in Finder and on iTunes, make sure show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi is checked. And then from there, you can go over to Alt Server and where it says install Alt Store, you're just gonna press on your device. Then obviously enter in your Apple ID, username and password. It's gonna go through, you might get this message, just go ahead and press continue and Alt Store will install on your device. If you're side loading an app for the very first time, because we're on iOS 16, we now see this message indicating that developer mode is required. Alt Store requires developer mode to run so we're going to turn developer mode on go into settings go under privacy and security and then scroll all the way down until you see developer mode go ahead and tap on that and tap on the switch to turn it on it's going to ask us to restart our device so i'm going to go ahead and tap on that and now the device will restart and now you'll see it says turn on developer mode. Developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development. When developer mode is turned on, your device security will be reduced. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's gonna ask for our passcode. Then once we do that, we can successfully open Alt Store. And now we're gonna go ahead and open it. It's gonna ask us if we want notifications and if we wanna to connect to the network, just go ahead and press okay on both. Now we're gonna to have to sign in with our Apple ID. And then once you do that, go ahead and go to the link down below in the description and you can airdrop this file to yourself. That's what I did. And you can see it says open airdrop with Alt Store files. I'm gonna tap on Alt Store. And as long as you're connected to Alt Store and Alt Server on your computer, this should just go through and start signing the application. You also can just locally download the file and open it in Alt Store, whatever way works. But as you can see, here it is. It's now sideloaded on our device. And if you're using Calabunga for the very first time, you might just have to tap OK on that screen. But a lot of people that are already on 16.1.2 are probably already familiar with Calabunga. All you have to do to get your device supervised is go under the miscellaneous option in Calabunga and then toggle on supervised. From there, all you have to do is just go to the homepage and press on respring. And for good measure, I would also reboot your phone. If this doesn't work, you can also try the Supervise app, which is the second method you can try as well. And tapping on the Supervise app, that same message will pop up again. You can just press on OK. And then from there, it's going to toggle on supervision. Just reboot the phone and turn it off and turn it back on again. And now we should see the message pop up in settings. This iPhone is supervised and managed. If you see this message, we're good to go and we're good to keep going with the delay OTA. Now we just want to click the link down below in the description and select the 16.5 profile. And now that the profile is downloaded, all we have to do is just go ahead and install it in the settings. So go ahead and tap on it and press install. From there, it's going to ask for your passcode. Go ahead and press install again. And then once you go ahead and press on install, and if we did everything right, we can now see that 16.5 will show up inside of software update. So this device is running 16.1.2 right now, and let's go ahead and update it to 16.5. It's also a good idea before continuing that you have a backup of your device just in case anything goes wrong. And here we go. Now we're installing 16.5 and this might take a little while. It might get stuck on preparing update. Just go ahead and try it a couple more times. As long as you have enough storage on your device, you should be good to go. And now here we are, you can see it says software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 16.5. We can swipe up and we're ready to go. And you can see we're on iOS 16.5. Anyway guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. 
If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.